Hello everybody, how's it going? Since some of my most viewed videos are about hunter pets, I thought it would be a good idea to sum up every unlockable kind of pet in the game. As most of you know, for some creatures you first have to get a certain item to be able to actually tame them, and over the years we have got many different pet families that fit in this topic. So without further ado, let's begin with the newest additions. The Lesser Dragonkins are probably the most wanted addition to hunter pets in a long time. In order to tame them, you first need to unlock the tome How to Train Your Dragonkin. You can get it from Stable Master and Valdraken after reaching Renown level 23 with the Valdraken Accord. Pets you can tame with this tome include Fairy Dragons, Dragon Forks, Walkin, and the Ardenwheel Dragons from Shadowlands. Also freshly added with Dragonflight are the Odox. In order to tame an Odox, you first need to reach Renown level 11 with the Iskawa Tusker faction, and then you will be granted a short questline, beginning with a Lost Tribe and ending with while the iron is hot. Next we have a simple tome of bone binding, which unlocks a variety of undead beasts to tame. You can get the tome from enemies in Maldraxxus and the Shadowlands with a low drop chance. The undead beasts you can tame include undead raptors, vultures and devil saws, as well as wind serpents, hellhounds and abomination hounds. If you play as an undead hunter, you do not need this tome and can tame undead beasts right away. Then we have the gargons, which are these stone hounds you might know from Revendreth. In order to tame those, you need the Gargon Training Manual, which is a guaranteed drop from a rare mob Huntmaster Petrus, who can be found in this area in Revendreth. With this tome, you will be able to tame normal Gargons, as well as a settled version. As I am making this video, the armored version from the Huntsman Ultima of Fighting Castle Nafria is not tameable yet, but perhaps that changes in the future. Next we talk about the Cloud Serpents, which can be unlocked with a tome How to School Your Serpent. This tome can be bought after reaching an exalted reputation with the Order of the Cloud Serpent faction in Pandaria, and this tome can also be bought by not hunter characters. Cloud Serpents come in multiple colors, and even some celestial Cloud Serpents are tameable. If you play as a Pandaren, you do not need this tome and can tame them right away. Next, we have the Blood Beasts, which are unlocked by the Blood Soak Tome of Dark Whispers. This is a guaranteed drop from a boss duel in the Uldu Raid on normal difficulty or above. The Blood Beast family include the Quarks and the Blood Ticks. Then we have the Feathermans family, and for them you need the Tome of a Hybrid Beast, which can be bought in the Hunter's Order Hall after completing both the Legion Order Hall campaign and the Broken Shores campaign. After you get your Order Hall class mount as a Hunter, you can buy this Tome. Hybrid Beasts have a large variety of creatures. We are talking about Slivers, Old Steeds, Larians, Hippogriffs, Allcats, Wolfhawks, Griffins, and Windriders. Next we have the Dire Horns, which are basically Triceratops. In order to tame them, you need the Asian Tome of Dynamancy, which can draw from Zandalawi Dynamancers on the Isle of Giants in Pandaria. There are five different colors for the usual Dire Horn, as well as two armored versions available. If you play as a Zandalawi Troll, you don't need this Tome and can tame them right away. And last but not least, we have the Mechanicals. In order to tame them, you need the Mechabond Imprint Matrix, which can be crafted by engineers and is usually purchasable from the auction house. These creatures also have a pretty large variety. We are talking of mechanic striders, iron scorpions, electric sheep, mechanical squirrels, mechanical rabbits, mechanical x beaks, mechanical wolves, mechanical spiders, robot gorillas, robot chickens, rocket chickens, mechanical tigers, phalanx, and equivalents. If you play as a gnome, goblin, or mechanome, you don't need the item and can simply tame them. And that's every unlockable hunter pet in the game so far. What are your favorites? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you haven't done it yet, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Until then, see ya!